Oh, it's Mega Man! Oh, holy crap, it's Mega Man. Okay. Well, Mega Man can jump off the same wall. Unfortunately for you. Did I get it? Nice, I got it. Don't need screw attack. Okay, so far so good. I have to use a potion though, a high potion. So now I'm actually out of potions. So I'm gonna buy more. How did that miss? Hello? That hurts. I'm being reckless. I just healed. Oh. Oh. Flesh spawn. Who is this guy? Is he an archer? Paid. Hunter and Trapper. I knew something foul was afoot when the wildlife started to disappear. I've been hunting in these mountains for years and I've never seen anything like this. I return to town, blah blah blah. These move really fast. There's a spider bro up there. That moves really slow. Jebaited. I may not be able to buy my uh, magic item. I have to buy potions. A hundred gold? Are you kidding me? Oh, that was a close one. Almost didn't make it. <sighs> Claymore. A warp would be really nice right now. So, is it time to go to the keep? I think it is. I'm actually gonna die to this guy. I'm gonna be greedy. And not go this way. I'm not going this way. So I'm two hits from death from most enemies. If I touch the ooze, I am even more screwed. Don't do that. Oh wow, this makes it kind of clunky, huh? Because I'm, I'm holding it so I grip onto it, but it makes you slide. Yeah. So you, now you need to time it. Is there a bee in here? This guy's okay. As long as I'm not greedy. I was kind of greedy. That's clunky. It's really clunky. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. That's not good. Because throughout the entire game, it basically undermines the existing mechanics. Because you're supposed to hold down the key when you're trying to grip onto the wall. But if you do that now, you will slide down the wall instead of... Uh, gripping onto the edge when the time comes. So, the controls that you are used to 
are now a detriment to you. So I need to relearn the controls right now after gaining this ability. You never want to do that. Because the way the grip works is if I just do this, it doesn't grip, right? I have to press it down. I have to hold down the button to grip. But now when I do it, like you see there's a sliding on the very top. So you slide for a moment and then you grip. So if you're used to just gripping and buffering your input, well now it's going to be a little more complicated and your timing might be off by like half a second. It doesn't matter, half a second. I'm not sure if they realized that when they made the game. I mean, they probably didn't. It's one of those weird small things that doesn't really matter that much, but there is a little minor annoyance to it. Uh, I want to see what's at the top right of the next big room. Just remind me what was up there. Oh, double jump to get there, I think. Is it? It's at the ladder. Yeah, I can't reach that without double jump. Or high jump. What do you do? Hopefully you're really useful. Venison. Oh, crap! Uh-oh, I just ate it. Ah, oh, it needs four. Oh, no, I just ate it. Damn, damn, damn. I need to sell some items. Damn, it's not much. It's not really worth selling because they could be useful. I'm gonna buy one potion, or two potions? How many can I buy? High potion recipe, oh. I can buy one high potion. Potion 75, high potion's 200. I think I'll take the high potion, it's more efficient. Once again, I can't afford anything here. RIP. And I saw that I was at 57% map explored. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm leaning towards bad thing. Oh, that flipped me around. Oh, right, this. I'm leaning towards bad thing because more than half the game is done already. At least the exploration aspect of it. It might be because I'm spoiled, kind of spoiled nowadays because of uh, what current games are like. I want to check out the keep real quick, because I may be able to progress now. And then once I get double jump, I'll do a more thorough backtrack. Games nowadays, I I've been playing this game for how long now? Three hours. So this game is six hours if it's that long. And let's say it's seven hours, seven, eight hours. For a $20 game, that's uh, kind of low value, I would say. But again, this is like, I'm just making a pretty baseless judgment. So it may be inaccurate to say this. Leather belt from this. Huh. So we'll see. Ooh, spooky. So I say this sometimes. Uh, but how long a game is is not necessarily indicative of how good the game is. Okay, so I can go up now. Ah, oh, nice. But at the same time, you're paying for the game, right? So if you're paying for a game, you want to at least get your money's worth. I'm not- oh, well, that's creepy as hell. I love it. I'm not really sure if it's worth it. Like. 20 bucks for a 
That is a fast enemy. What the hell? Oh, it just moves like... Oh, it just moves. Okay. Huh. I, I like that enemy a lot. It's really cool. And creepy. Oh, spider! Tanky spider. Uh, value, right. Like, you're, you're paying for the game, right? You want to play the game for longer. But at the same time, you don't want to drag out the game for too long, right? What?! Oh, wow, that almost killed me! That could have been my first death. Huh. I have to heal, then. Playing it really safe. Uh, I said before, right? If, if a game drags on for like 50 hours and you only have like 20 hours of actual new content, then it's still not that good, right? It's, I mean, it's not not really good. What is that? Jello? Mm. Okay then. Not that it's not good. It's just uh, this part. So, this part of the song is so good. It's that a lot of the content is repeating, so you don't have all new content throughout the entire game. And that can be a problem. Venison, that's... I need that for a quest, so I can't heal with it. I mean, I could, but I don't think I want to. Okay, so it's not one, two jump. It's like small jump, small jump, big jump. It's just big jump whenever it feels like it. Or within a certain proximity. Puking skulls and an imp. Spikes. Oh, this used to be in the catacombs. I'm assuming the ground kills you. I don't like any of these. What was I saying? Don't charge at me. Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. Jump into it, why don't you? I'm really scared. I still haven't died yet, so that's that's cool, right? Basically a hardcore run. Uh, but yeah, new content is always nice, right? Because you want your game to be fresh throughout the entire game. Always introduce new stuff and build upon the existing stuff. That is really long range. That's two attacks, okay. Most enemies in this game have two attacks. There's like... There's uh, usually like one melee attack and one ranged attack, but sometimes it's... I think follows my movements, doesn't it? That's really cool. Sometimes it's, it's one melee attack, one range attack. Sometimes it's one strong attack, one weak attack. So that's this enemy in this case. And they're just programmed that way. Nice. Okay. Unfortunately, I couldn't heal before that. Or I had to heal before that, I should say. This jello has an axe in it. What does that mean? Does that mean the drops are different for every jello? Once you learn the enemy attacks, because they all have patterns, right? The game becomes easier. So these are new enemies. I don't know what these things do, that's why I got wrecked so badly. But in the early portions of the game, in the first two areas, uh, I knew what most of the enemies did. All the enemies, other than like one or two of them, because they were new. But yeah, it's just a learning experience. I don't want to die, though. Does it follow my movements? It does, right? No, it doesn't. I thought it was one of those enemies. I, I like those enemies. Those enemies are cool. So 
And when it does that, it's supposed to do a big jump. Okay. I think I should have upgraded the knife, now that I think about it. Because I'm using a, not really low range weapon, but I'm using a slow weapon that can be risky against some enemies. And the Molotov is good against stationary enemies only. And what is that? Because if the enemy moves around, they're not going to take damage from it, right? That was an archer. It actually aims at me. That's kind of annoying. This area looks like Symphony of the Night. The library. But I mean, that's a lot of stuff, I guess. Really? You're going to stay on the edge? Come on. That's awesome. That arc is so good. Stupid archer. AI in this game is, um... Hmm. It's like, uh, it's not really smart, but it's not really dumb. They just kind of do what they're, they're programmed to do. Which means that you can counterplay it. But at the same time, they're not as adaptive as some other games. This one should be a, a dead end. Maybe. It might fork upwards. Okay, it is a dead end. Night Sword? Is that a special weapon? It looks special. I think it is, because it has the Alucard animation. So I'm not going to use it. Not that I'm going to use it anyway, because Claymore's so awesome. Okay. You know, this game doesn't feel procedurally generated. Maybe because for most of the game I knew what I was doing. Oh, okay, speaking of knowing what I'm doing, that's not it. That's not it at all. And yeah, that might be the case. Like, most of the game, I, I felt like I know I knew what I was doing. Even though the seeds were unfamiliar in the first two areas. Either because I forgot or because they are- there were actually- they were actually new. At least enemies don't run into you. Like, if you're at the edge, they actually back off. In some games, they just stay at the edge, and it's really frustrating, so that's that's pretty good. So you want to give the player a chance to actually play the game. And this game is, is pretty brutal, to be honest. Even though it did get dumbed down. Not dumbed down, made easier. Left the save point, right is something new. I lied. Left is something. Right is something new. This might be a key or a treasure chest. Ow. Oh, this looks like a new ability. Steak. Mm. In uh, some Metroid games, this is what a new ability room looks like, or leading up to it. So this might be a new ability. Maybe double jump? Maybe a green gargoyle dude? Oh. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. Galio, please. What's this guy, Mordekaiser? He's got an axe though, not a mace. Oh, speaking of axes. Yes! It's also the white swing. Nice. Me orc. Me axe. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Not, I didn't mean like that. I didn't mean axe me. Stupid thing. Okay, 
I have a healing item at least. And I have some decent money now. I can buy one potion. <laughs> oh man. This game is, is kind of encouraging you to grind, huh? Not gonna do it though. Oh, nice! Okay, so this will heal me. Probably gonna go grab a potion right now. I've got an extra claymore. What about the forging system? Like the the socketing and forging system? Did they just remove it? Because that feels really bad if they did. And there's no new recipe, so it kind of just stops. Disappointing. I'll buy the silver sword. I'll just save it. There might be something in the future that uses that stuff. Oh, he changed his... Oh, wait, no. These are my weapons. I'm stupid. Uh, I am an orc. Me dumb. Uh, bronze helm. Hmm. Yeah, he doesn't upgrade his stuff, at least so far. So it's kind of disappointing. What do I want? Nothing. Let's upgrade the magic knife. I think I'm gonna need it. I think I made a mistake with Molotov. I can still use for bosses though, that's the good thing. What's diamond? 500? I, I don't know if they have any other use, I'm just gonna do it. What's the next one? A thousand? Jeez. Because you can just buy it from the, the crystal guy, right? It's from Manifold. There it is. So I'll grab a high potion and a regular potion. This high potion overheals me. So technically it's not really efficient to buy it at the moment. Need more flour as well. Oh wait, where's my carrot? Huh? Is it limited stock? Really? Oh, it is limited stock. Oh wow, this place is a food shortage. I didn't notice that the first time. I mean, it's understandable. It's a really cold place. Plus people are going missing. I need to heal, what am I doing? I think I got some bad RNG for level ups. I could be wrong though. So I feel like I need more strength. Yeah, I'm I'm just questioning some of their decisions. I mean, they can do whatever they want because it's their game. But I'm questioning some of their decisions, like making Backdash the way it is and removing some of the features like socketing. It's like, socketing is awesome. It's fun. And then obviously this thing here. Like, you're, you're so used to the way you control the character for so long, and then all of a sudden, once you get a new ability, it kind of screws that up a bit. Oh, there's a rule, actually, of, uh... Oh, nice. You blocked it. There's a rule of, for, for a lot of games. Watch the enemy attack a few times before you attack. Ow. Okay, I'm at a bad angle, I think. That's why I got hit. That way you can, you can learn what the enemy does. The enemy... Ow! Also, for most games that have enemies that have attack delay, you should put them into attack delay first. Oh, my money. Rip. Put them into attack delay and see how long their attack delay is. So then you can uh, you can counterattack them instead of the other way around. Sometimes the first strike is not always the best thing to do. Unless you can instantly kill them. Cost money? Three matches that await you. This oh jeez, I'm getting triggered. 
Hollow Knight's Coliseum of Fools. That thing was really hard. Especially when it was still laggy. This might be a mistake. But I have my bird with me. It's a jello! Oh, so this this used to be the um like some rooms used to be locked. I'm not sure if they're still like that, this RNG uh random generation, right? What the hell? Damn the skeleton's crazy. But sometimes uh in the older versions Oh crap, yeah, attack with the enemy attack first. Sometimes in the older versions. Ow, this guy hurts like hell. Oh, what the? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Stupid orc. Gladiator helm? I can't use that. Too bad the bird is in, in the head slot for whatever reason, and not the accessory slot. This is also kind of questionable. Because I would love to use this. But then you lose the bird, right? Oh no, birdie! I'm just gonna play with the bird. That's how I approach most games. Whatever is the most fun or cute. I just use it, even if it screws my stats over. This place needs to be... Uh, needs to have a save point nearby. It's not really that great right now. Unless there's a save point over there. What was I saying? I can't remember now. Before the, the whole bird thing. Oh, uh, something about the Coliseum, right? Uh, yeah, some rooms used to be locked. Oh, that would have been nice for the Coliseum, if it stays. Some rooms were locked by that and you had to clear it, so I'm not sure if they still have that. It might be too tedious and too punishing. Oops, that was a high jump. Should have been a short hop. The skeleton's so crazy. I mean, sword is stronger than axe, right? Because fire emblem. Even though it's a shield. That's that's a bad angle. So I need to be like here to dodge it properly like that. I think it stomps on you, Kirby Stone Stomp, if you walk under it. But I've only done it once. Black Feather? Is that for the, the place I think it's for? Back in the catacombs? I mean, um, mines? Possibly. Oh, that reverse though. That That is troll as hell. Yeah, they do do that. Okay, okay. So they, they Kirby Stomp you. Unfortunately, they don't change shape. This sliding thing? Um, I mean, the problem is I would buffer inputs, right? I'd buffer inputs like jumping before, so I would jump faster, right? Like that? But sometimes you can't do it because you land at an awkward angle. And then, like, if you land on here, like that happens, right? If you land on the top side, the very top where you can land, as opposed to the bottom where you grip. That, I wanted to talk about that. I mean, I talked about it a bit, saying it was pretty annoying. But the other thing I wanted to talk about was, uh, it reminded me of Mega Man. Oh, jeez. That's pretty dumb, too. In Mega Man X5 and 6, I believe, those are the examples that I want to use. Uh, zero. He had an ability where if you're in the mid in midair jumping and then you press up and then use the attack, you would do a dive attack directly down and lose control of your character while you're diving. And uh, like for the entirety of the game, before you get that ability, sometimes there are ladders. So you would do like a dash jump attack onto a ladder while buffering the up input. And then you would latch onto the ladder. Oh, there's a ladder. Like, right now I'm gonna hold up, right? You immediately grab the ladder after that. But, oh, flower. 
But once you gain that ability, and if you try to do the same thing, you're gonna end up doing the dive attack right here, like that, and then you just fall down and potentially die if there's a pit under you. So that's one of those examples of uh, questionable inputs being introduced mid-game after you're already kind of used to the movements of the characters. Okay, I don't know where I can go. I'm gonna try and go down to the bottom side and see what is in store for me there. 